Remember to add slight random angular velocity to the limbs so that the legs don't just fall in place slash stand up like in this video. Not a problem, just a few lines of code and bam, we have a much better looking demise. I'm building a game with input from everyone and sometimes it's hard to gauge how easy or hard something will be. First one, really easy. Next task, immediately went downhill. The initial idea was just right to left movement, but now we have the ask of multi-direction movement. At first I thought it was no biggie, but then I quickly realized I had a problem with my PID logic and the way I controlled the balancing motors in the legs and head. Without getting into it, rotations and quaternions and etc are really complicated and I was getting all sorts of mixed up and trying to get the chain of body to work properly. I ended up getting it all to work, but the technical debt was real, and some lessons were learned about relative and global positions and rotations. There still is a lingering bug that I haven't been able to resolve, but we'll save that for another day. The next task was to introduce more angles into the gameplay. Thankfully, the previous task around multi-direction movement improved the overall logic such that moving up and down hills worked more or less as is. This allowed for more fitting, rambunctious play, so this seems like an overall solid addition to the gameplay. The last thing was just polishing up the game in general. I cleaned up the UI a bit, added the replay button, and then added more to the whole level over the duration of playing and testing it just to feel out what a level might play like. There's more sound effects and other quality of life things so that you can bang your noggin into the ground uninterrupted for hours if you so choose. Thus concludes iteration 0.0.4 .0 of Head Bonk Harry. Stay tuned for next time where we'll be adding a neat little main menu screen.